Yeah. Put your hands together for Peter, everyone. Yeah, Peter. Thank you all. There are maybe three things I think I have learned in not quite half a century of living. And one is that faith is important to me. Two is that faith is, by definition, something I can't really know. It's just something I believe. So three is, based on number two, I'm not in a position to judge anyone else and their beliefs. Tonight I want to talk to you about my bathroom. <laughs> Why? <Wow. laughs> this is important. We bought this split ranch, and the original master bedroom had, in addition to the shower and the powder stuff, you know, the sink and everything, a half wall and an additional toilet and sink, like no man's land. But after it was built, someone put a master bedroom on, and this thing became this tiny little L-shaped nothing. And this is important because it's my room in the house. It's the only thing that really belongs to me in that whole house, they, they, they tell me or they lead me to believe anyway. And it is, it's very small. If I stand this way, I can look in the mirror and shave. And if I turn 90 degrees, I can sit down and think deep thoughts, right? <laughs> That's all I get to do there. But it's mine. And there should be something special about this. But the reason I'm talking about this tonight, it, when the theme is respect, is there is a raging theological debate going on on the mirror of my bathroom. And I'm not even a part of it. I, I don't know how this happened, but it happened around, I don't know, four years ago. I walked into the bathroom one morning, all groggy from the night before, getting ready to shave. And someone had taped in the left-hand corner of the mirror of my bathroom, God looks after you especially. I thought, wow, that's beautiful. God looks after me especially. Especially, this is really good. I feel good about this. I was probably whistling as I shaved that morning. It was a good day, right? God looks after me especially. And I did not feel the need to challenge that. I thought that was a wonderful sentiment and that I'm certainly not in this raging debate at all at this point. That lasts for a good long time without anyone trying to contradict it. And it's one of those things, you know how it is in life when you see something too much, you stop seeing something. But every now and then I'd notice it again. And that day as I shaved me, I'd feel pretty good because I knew that God looked after me especially. And then this thing happened to me. I don't know if it's happened to some of you in here. It's a thing called a 19-year-old son. They know everything. They are right, and you cannot have a debate with them. I know this because mine came home from college, and I walked in the bathroom one morning, and there was a yellow postie stuck below the fortune cookie that told me that God looks after me especially. And the yellow post-it note told me that God only set the whole thing in motion, and he was watching from afar, and he does not look after me, especially. <laughs> and I want to respect everyone, because I know I don't know the answer, right? And there's, it's contradiction now, and I'm supposed to be shaving, it's a wonder I don't die in there with a razor in my hand. I don't know what to do, right? And, and if it had stopped right there, I'm probably not even standing up here talking tonight. But there was another post he added below it, too. And it was a list, and this is how I know it was my 19-year-old son, with hash marks to denote each one. There was a list of all the fallacies in our world caused by people thinking that God looked after them especially. The Spanish Inquisition. The papal fires. The Holocaust. Slavery, all this is now on my shoulders as I try and shave in the morning <laughs> because I thought, because someone else put a fortune cookie on my mirror, that God looks after me especially. And my immediate instinct was, I want to tear that down because this does not make me feel good. And then I think about the respect thing. And I think about, you know what? I read the newspaper every day. You guys might read the newspaper every day too, and you know a lot of what's in the front section of the newspaper is based on the fact that certain people think God looks after them especially. And it doesn't necessarily feel good to look in the mirror at that point. And then sometimes I just want to sit down and work it out. 
the theological debate I want to work out for the record. But I didn't tear either one down. And this raging debate is sitting there, and every morning as I shave, I've got to deal with it. Last week, we ordered Chinese food. Thank goodness we ordered Chinese food. Because I opened my fortune cookie at the end, and I finally entered the debate. There's a one word fortune cookie. And it's actually one word and one sentence. And either the person who wrote it doesn't understand grammar or was being incredibly profound because I wrote one word with a small r and a period at the end. And I thought about this for a long time. But the word was relationships. And I realized I cannot control the nature of that God if there is a God. But I can try and control the relationships. And though I don't know the answer, when I shave in the morning, I see God looks after me especially, or he doesn't. And it's possible that I'm a lousy bastard because he doesn't, but I don't think that last one's really true. I just know I don't know the answers, so I respect everyone. Thank you. Thank you.